Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Mark Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Thursday, April 23rd. Hope you guys are having a great day so far today. Uh, we got kind of a light day today. A couple items here on the economic calendar, uh, which is the weekly jobless claims. Uh, last week, uh, we had 5.24 million, or actually the previous week, excuse me, uh, last week's report, which these are always a week behind, uh, was 5.24 million people applying for unemployment for the first time. Uh, forecast was coming for 4 uh, million last week. And it came in at 4.43 million, so obviously it gives a pretty big boost to our uh, unemployment numbers. And of course, in a couple weeks here, we'll see the job numbers for the month of April, which I can only imagine will be pretty dismal. Uh, we also got a couple items here, uh, data from the market, uh, PMI. Uh, we'll start with the manufacturing. Anything about below 50 is considered contraction. So obviously, we're, as you, as you, one would imagine. Uh, March ended at 48 and a half uh, for manufacturing, and April so far is coming in at 36.9. Uh, then we got market services, the services index, which was at 39.8 when it ended in March, and now is at 27. Uh, so obviously not very good signs right there where manufacturing or services what they're doing. Uh, last but not least, we got new home sales. Uh, the month of February was actually revised lower. It was at 765, I believe it was, uh, earlier, and it dropped down to uh, 741. And then uh, forecast was calling for a drop down to 628, and came pretty close to expectation at 627. Uh, these are annualized units uh, for sale here. So let's jump ahead here to the headline news. Stocks are up so far, though, a little bit. Uh, we are still getting earnings reports. They've not been looking too good uh, from what I've been hearing. I just haven't heard a lot about any one that stood out of late, uh, but what I'm hearing overall that they are obviously disappointing, as one would imagine with the sudden uh, drop in March. Uh, also, the outlook is kind of what they're kind of looking towards, or we're getting some states like uh, Atlanta, or not Atlanta, Georgia uh, announced that they're going to reopen pretty much on Friday. And, uh, you know, the president, I guess, is strongly disagreed with it. Uh, I think uh, the concerns are is obviously we, the last thing we want to do is reopen and then have another sudden outbreak, which could you know lead to even more deaths and more people uh, catching, uh, contracting the virus. So the outlook also is that we're approaching summer as well. And for the most part, it seems like it's a seasonal thing. So it seems like... Uh, this could kind of be in the past once we reach around June. So this is something we can look forward to as well uh, as we try to get the economy kind of moving back uh, forward. How quick and how soon we can get that going, it's, it's yet to be determined. Uh, but it looks like there are some progress and at least we're a little bit ahead of where we were 30 days ago. Uh, so they're feeling a little bit better about certain things as well, especially as we approach uh, summer. Let's see how this is uh, playing out in the bond market. Uh, bond market's up about 14 basis points, which will translate into a little bit better pricing. We did have a nice little uh, improvement during the day yesterday. Uh, as before, we were, I think when I started this yesterday morning, we were only up about two basis points. and up closing much higher, uh, up like 22, 25 basis points. Uh, right now, so far, we're up about 14 basis points. Uh, yields are hanging right up about just a hair under uh, 0.61 right now percent. And that's pretty much the wrap for the day. If you guys are in California looking to refinance or uh, buy, please reach out. You can uh, direct message me or email me. Are the two best ways to communicate. Uh, if you'd like to just get started, uh, I'm going to put a link in the description. And just go ahead and go into the description, click on the link, and they'll ask you some questions about your scenario, your information. And then we can reach out to you and uh, go over it and discuss what you guys would like to uh work over. You guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.